Welcome to Tortoise Water. I'm going to be discussing a bit of sports in schools with a friend of mine. I hope you enjoy. I really don't think sports should be separated from the education sphere no uh, sportsmen you, must know what's going on let, let, me, let me take i had this argument not really argument just a discussion with my wife the other day she's a teacher so is sport should sport be compulsory should um and i'm not talking about pe or games whatever i'm talking about an afternoon sport whether it be if you're not a team player you can go smack a tennis ball around or if you want to be in a team you can play rugby or soccer or cricket or if you're in america american football or baseball you know basketball but should it be compulsory at school and i would definitely agree that it should in my opinion my wife said it's not necessarily what if you're not into sport what if what your thing is drama I said, well, then you can do drama too. Get ready to the, for the real life anyway, because the real day starts at eight and ends at five. It's very, very easy to fit drama and sport and everything, you know? Let the child be balanced. Even if he is into drama, he should still be active. Yeah, I think the key there is, is that word active. Because I don't necessarily believe that they have to be in a sport as such. Instead of telling them to do sports, you just say, you know, instead of having first half a half an hour of school we're gonna like all go out and do a little no but i'm saying it should be more than that because there you've already got pe which is okay it might not be every day but it's yeah that's once, twice a that's week. that's the problem pe has actually been cut down significantly over yeah. the years so it's it's been replaced by okay we need to do more maths we need to do more science and fair enough that is yeah. that's a legitimate excuse but there needs to but be it, room for a healthy body it's also as well as a healthy mind. To you don't get to decide a sport that you want to try be be good at or get used to. It's yeah, very facilities are limited. Yeah, but it's also generalized. PE was today we're gonna swim, tomorrow we're gonna you Yeah, know, but take whatever. for instance a lot of guys would have enjoyed golf. How many flipping schools have golf courses? Well, my school, oh, okay, I was quite fortunate. My school doesn't many, have a, we're talking didn't about, have a golf course, but it had a driving range. Okay, not many schools would do that. But there are many schools that have a golf club and on a Wednesday and a Thursday, they okay. go play at a certain course. And then there's in, even Let inter stop schools you there. golf. Can we agree, though, that the problem is not in middle to upper class schools, but in the lower class schools? Definitely. So therefore, we're not no, but talking then that about... that also boils down to facilities, like you said. Mm. You know, how many fields do you have? If you've got each year group trying to play on the same field, all practicing in, on the day, they've all got to get their games in on one field. Finding other schools that also are interested in the same sport, that want to play into schools, it, I can imagine it's, it's not easy. But that's where... You need more clubs in those areas as opposed to the schools doing that. So you got, instead of one school, you got four or five schools providing kids for one team. So but then again, it makes it a bit more problem. competitive. I, I think the problem there within the lower tier schools, let's say, is there has to be a divide in funding of those particular programs. So you either have to decide, or do you want to supply these kids with the facilities to do their sporting activities and excel in that bearing in mind that very few people actually make it to top tier where the expense let's say would cover the cost or do you spend that money on educational means because i think maybe that's where the argument lay if you can do both do both but in the lower tier schools there isn't the opportunity to do both do you spend the money on education or do you spend it on you know, allowing children to express themselves in terms of activities that they can play out of? That's, that's the biggest problem. And you know, corruption in our government doesn't help in that. Regard. Okay, but that's, that, that's going away from my original point. My point is a school that has the facilities to be able to say everybody in the school can easily do a sport at the same time. And they're not all doing the same sport. You know, some people like running. That can be your sport. Some people, obviously in winter you're not swimming, but... You know, find something else, play tennis, 
play squash. You don't always have to be, uh, you know, I was always a team sports and stuff myself. And you meet people, you talk to people, you become a balanced person. Balance is important. Sports, not all about being fit. It's good to be fit and it's good to run around and stuff. But then it's just generally extramural activity. That I agree with fully. Social interaction is a key part to being able to live in our society. That's for, that's for damn sure. I mean, if you weren't good or you didn't really care, you played in the sixth and seventh team. And there was a, a bunch of guys that didn't expect to win. It wasn't like, you know, you, oh, I have to put everything on the line. But they were still running around on the field twice a week for practice and once on a Saturday for a game. You know, they got competition. They learned how to win. They learned how to lose. Thanks for listening to us ramble. If you liked what you heard, give us a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. If you want to see more videos, just subscribe.